Hi there! In this technical walkthrough, our goal is to help you get started on installing a dynamic bundle widget. We'll go through everything from creating the widget, installing it, and even adding on a discount to it. To create a dynamic bundle widget, click on the product page block, then new widget. Then scroll down until you see dynamic bundle and click on create new. From here, you can name your widget to a specific bundle offer. We'll name this as apparel bundle and hit create it. Once you're in the widget settings, go ahead and click on data source. Think of a data source as the brain behind a widget. It helps decide when certain products get recommended and so much more. In this example, we'll be offering a dynamic bundle offer where customers can get discounted apparel if they add a beanie and a pair of socks to their order. To do that, let's change our if condition to collection and select the collection name of apparel. Then in the return, we'll specify rebuy beanie and rebuy socks. Perfect. This reads as if we're on any product page that's part of the apparel collection, recommend the rebuy beanie and socks. Go ahead and save your changes and head back to the widget settings. If you want to preview how the dynamic bundle widget works, make sure it's not in live mode. This way, you can test it without worrying about customers accidentally getting a bundle discount. Now there is one thing to keep in mind to prevent confusion when setting up the dynamic bundle widget. Go to the layout setting, and you'll notice that the items to show setting is set to three items. To clarify, this means that when you're on a product page, the dynamic bundle widget will show the main product plus an addition of three other products. In turn, a total of four items will show. If you're looking to discount your bundle, you'll need to make sure there's a source that's allowing the bundle to be discounted. Click on the discount setting, and in the dropdown, you can set a fixed or percentage discount. Let's select percentage. At this point, we recommend toggling on Shopify functions, which is Rebuy's native way to automatically apply discounts to applicable items. Once you have decided on a discount amount, go ahead and put that in the input below. You can then show customers how the discounted price compares with the original price or the compare at price. We'll stick with price for now. And lastly, once your customer adds the dynamic bundle to their cart, you can personalize the discount message to let them know that they've received a discount. Let's put bundle discount. Let's skip the enable bundle protection setting for now and move on to installing the widget. Perfect. With this, let's save our changes and click on the install button. From here, you can specify which theme to install the widget to. We'll leave this unchanged. Click here to copy the widget ID. Then, when you click on the install widget button, this will automatically take you to your product page template with a pre-installed rebuy widget app block. Then, paste your widget ID in this section here. Feel free to move your widget to wherever you want. Then, hit save. Now that we have the widget installed, Let's take a look at how the dynamic bundle widget works in preview mode. Let's go to our apparel collection and click on any product. And there we go. Our dynamic bundle widget is displaying a discounted bundle. And when adding the bundle to cart, the discount carries over. Now, let's say a customer were to remove some products from the bundle. In this case, the other bundle products and the discounts will remain. If you are looking to ensure the discount does not apply in these instances, then let's jump back to our widget settings. Remember the enable bundle protection setting? Well, let's start by toggling this on. In the maximum items allowed to remove option, the default value is set to zero. This means that if a customer removes any product from the bundle, the rest of the bundle products will be removed from their cart. If you're looking to allow the customer to remove a product while still retaining the bundle discount, then you may adjust this value as needed. Let's set the value to one meaning that I am only allowed to remove from the bundle once. You can also toggle on the disable add to cart when incomplete setting. As stated, if enabled, customers won't be able to add the bundle to their cart unless it's complete based on the max amount of items allowed to remove configuration. Let's save our settings and test this out. Let's try unchecking some of the boxes from this bundle. As you can see, as soon as I uncheck a second product, the bundle becomes unable to be added. Let's keep them all checked, then add the bundle to the cart. Let's use our one allowance to remove a product. As you can see, the bundle and the discount remain. However, as soon as I go past that allowance, the rest of the bundle products are removed. And there you have it. You've successfully created a dynamic bundle widget, and now your customers are one click away from adding multiple items to cart. 
Once you're all set, don't forget to switch your widget to live mode. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out. Thank you.